So hey there guys, how you doing? I'm Colin and welcome to Purely Cars. And today, for you guys, we'll be looking at a Lexus LX. Um, it's not a LX actually, it's a GX. So today guys, we'll be looking at a Lexus GX 460. Now the Lexus um, GX sits between the LX, which is the bigger brother, and the RX, which is the mid-size kind of car. But this car, even though it's not as big as the LX, still has up to seven seats so we're going to be looking at this car its peculiarities its exterior design the interior features the drivetrain to find out what makes this car unique from every other lexus suv all right let's get into it <laughs> so number one thing that is really interesting about this vehicle is the exterior design so first of all it's not going to hit you as the most beautiful car in the world although some people do look at it and go okay that's a beautiful car but it was designed for ruggedness and you can see that from the body style on the sides and the back it's very very muscular and um so from the very first time you look at this car you know that lexus and toyota's collaboration on this platform was to design a very rugged suv that can go anywhere to survive so yeah so the exterior design might not look that beautiful but it's a very rugged design now talking about ruggedness let's get to the platform of this car this car is based on a body on frame platform and what that simply means is that it's a very rugged chassis so this is the kind of car that you can take to crazy off-road situations and bring it back alive so yes this car shares its platform with the toyota forerunner and that in itself is a stamp of quality because we all know that that vehicle is a very rugged car doesn't just look rugged it's actually rugged underneath there is a big slab of iron that is holding up um, the entire body together so the, the design the chassis it's all functional function over form all right so talking about the interior of this car which is um again that rugged theme continues so most of the buttons when you look at them you see that they have this big chunky design they are supposed to last um for a very long time every control so here you have your mirror control um you have controls for the lights and you have leather because this is a you know it's a lexus vehicle up here i have plastic but it's not the kind of plastic that makes you want to kill yourself i love those mirrors because they are very big and chunky so you can see everything going on around the vehicle and you have this wood green here that is just so beautiful it looks like something out of a rose royce and then you have two analog displays you know for your speedometers and you have one digital screen in the middle there and here is what you use to show what's going on with your shifter so park drive neutral it shows on that small screen and here you have um, your control for your four-wheel drive system infotainment system but the look at this you can tell that this is a very old looking infotainment screen well first of all this is bright it has a lot of contrast which means that no matter how bright it is outside you'd always be able to see this the graphics is bad i know the layout is simple though so you don't need a phd to operate this guy it's very simple and easy to walk around and down here you have your controls for your air conditioning and your entertainment but here you see this slot your shifter and i need to explain this thing to you so this is your descent control speed control for descending here four wheel drive low gear four wheel drive um simply to put that simply you need this four l for when you are driving on some very very tough terrain um say mud or small bodies of water and four high is for road driving don't put this count four l when you're driving on the road like you through that's a bad idea and here you have your storage i've been fighting to open this thing for a long time but apparently there is a that's how you open it so this is it here it's a very wide one guys there's a lot of space down there it's a very wide cubby space nice and simple layout your wood your leather 
and then your plastic but still quality plastic and not irritating plastic we find in most cars your hydraulically powered steering wheel and your nicely trimmed leather seats and i need to show you guys this this is the headliner i've never it's been a while since i saw a headliner that felt this good so it's very soft i know you'll not be touching that so much but still it's good to know that uh, you have a nice headliner one more feature um in this vehicle you have heated and cooled seats which means that when you put this on like this there is air conditioning in your seat or there's a fan in your seat that blows you cool air and if you flip it the other way it turns on seat heating i'm just gonna put that on cool and just ah that feels good ah that 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 feels like money well spent so this car has seven seats and these are the back seats and um, i have a feeling they'll probably be some of the most comfortable back seats i've ever used so good enough headroom this is a uh, good enough leg room so should we check the back seats yeah the last two of it all right guys first of all you want to know how to raise to bring down the second row of seats so there's a latch here and once you press that it comes down so that brings us to these guys so these are the guys you use to electronically raise up the third row of seats so you know you're in a lexus you don't have to stress about it so this is for the right side this is for the left seat so you bring this up as you can see the seats are raising up look at that <laughs> so as you can see by the time i fold this guy back it's not a whole lot of space back there for sitting ah uh, but it's good enough bring this guy back down and we fold the seats again so this is how we gain access to the third row you just touch this lever and there you go so now if you want to climb into the back just push this guy out and you climb into the back so i'm sure one of the things you guys want to know is what's powering this car well this car is powered by a v8 a 4.6 liter v8 so it's 300 plus horsepower and a lot of torque so what this engine is created for is two things the torque and the reliability so it has a lot of pulling power so it's not particularly the fastest thing on the road but it has a lot of pulling power and that engine is connected to a six speed gearbox and that is also connected to a four by four system and just in case you didn't know toyota has some of the best four-wheel drive system in the market um the land cruiser and the lx series here are all legendary for their performance off-road so don't fear this car if you know how to drive it properly will never get stuck no matter where it is you're driving now let's talk about boot capacity so this is not one of those cars that you lift up like this it actually swings out so you put your hands here and there you go so while these seats are down the boot is still very large but when these seats come up the boot size is reduced dramatically and you also have the seat control here so you can still lift up the seats from this area your tools and your jack they are in this area and you have a charging socket there Another cool feature this car has that you can actually pop out this guy which means you don't have to open this stuff to access the boots. Nice feature. I want. The Lexus badge everywhere around the world comes with a certain prestige and the GX actually brings you that prestige but with seven seats and a very rugged chassis which means it's prestige plus reliability and rugged design and that would cost you anywhere between 40 million and 30 million depending on who you're buying from the quality of the vehicle and a couple of other factors i can tell you quite sincerely that after reviewing this car i now understand the charm and the reason why so many people love this particular car so i've been collins and thank you for staying on purely cars your premier automotive consultancy firm catch you guys in the next one